Howdy folks and welcome back to Plane Display. Uh, today I'm going to go over an unboxing of a 132nd scale uh, IMSA Corvette ZR1. It's for the small scale group build for YouTube. I know it's supposed to be for a Facebook group, but I uh, refuse to sign up with Facebook or Face Group. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, so I, I did quickly take off the plastic and peek inside and that's why I did determined I was going to do a quick video on an unboxing of this kit because I think it's kind of a, a hidden gem. It's pretty sweet for a little small scale kit. I usually don't dabble in these but knew a small scale kit was coming up for uh, the end of the year because of BG and uh, Lucas I watch those two guys and uh, Glenn from Glenn Model Car Kits. If you watch him, if you haven't seen him, you ought to check him out because he's a riot and he's a very creative guy. Um, I can't get over how creative he is. He does some really cool stuff with uh, full custom builds and so on. But this is still factory glued, as you probably can tell, or factory taped to piece two-sided adhesive. I'm not quite sure what they use there. There's a whole lot of bag here for looks like just this little glass piece. Oh no, there's something else in there. Not sure what those pieces are. Not sure what. Yeah. I'll get those out of the bag and take a closer look at them, I guess. Be an alright thing to do. I'm big enough for glass. Oh, my rip nice. Right. Well, I'm uh, not sure what that's supposed to be. There's only one side of them. Um, oh, I think that's supposed to be the window netting. Yeah. Okay, some window netting there. And the glass. It does have the defrost shown in there. That's kind of cool. It's molded in. All right, now for the big bag. Let's see what they got in here. Now I've never done uh, a small scale car kit, so I'm not sure what to expect so far as do they have full interiors or curbsides normal. I've only really seen uh, what BG's had on his channel. Right, let's see here. Body separate. That's good. Seems like pretty good mold quality. Not much flashing. A little bit, a little bit of a boo boo there that I'm gonna have to sand out. But nothing major. Hood there. Be interested to see how the hood fits. I've built C4 model kits in the past in larger scales, and the hood never seems to fit right, which. It's a pretty major component on the car. It makes almost a third of the front of the car up. If it doesn't look right, it kind of ruins the look of the whole car. And we got a tree for the interior. Nice little bucket seats. And good detail on the steering wheel. Not the greatest shifter. I might have to improvise something for that. Good detail on the floor pan, though. Very clear pedals and the center console there has good detail, as does the door cart. On the bottom chassis piece here, really, uh, for a small scale, it seems to have good detail in it. Just as much, if not more, than some 24th, 25th scale kits I've built. Uh, the independent rear suspension, the monoleaf, transaxle, it's all there. Uh, that must be, I don't know if that's an exhaust piece, I'm not quite sure what that's supposed to be. And last tree, got the full exhaust there, front to back. Looks like a timing cover for the engine. Uh, oh, another set of rims here. I noticed there's a set of rims on this chrome tree as well. So you can either build it with the, the standard ZR1 factory wheels, uh, turbines I think they were called, or they have these uh, five spokes here, like, you know, like on the box art. Well, that's kind of cool. I have two options of uh, building it out. And here's the parts tree with that beautiful, I think it was an LT4, is what they called it. Correct me in the comments I'm not, if I'm mistaken, but engine was designed and originally built by Lotus and was a dual red cam architecture, 5.6 liters, but they had some 
failures early on in uh, durability testing for Chevrolet and they ended up moving manufacturing and slightly changing Lotus's Lotus changed their design slightly I should say GM did not change the design but then the manufacturing ended up going to Mercury Marine who I think is still a uh, subsidiary of General Motors and that's how the Mercruiser uh, V8s and V6s over the years have come up and we got the uh, little destructions here decals nice looking decals oh, yeah. Yeah. turn right side up huh? that's a bridgestone gun metal copy of a Lindbergh catalog if I'd like I'm sure they'll send that to me immediately 2022 and I got these little baby cutesy tires good year on them and a construction sheet Pretty basic Lindbergh, typical stuff. A total of uh, 14 steps. Nice little model kit. Real good. Out. But that's uh, what I had to say about this little Lindbergh uh, IMSA Corvette ZR1 unboxing. Pretty excited to get into it and uh, get this small scale build finished. You guys have a good time. Have a good night. Uh, if there's anything you want me to comment on or add to my channel in the future, please uh, throw that down in the comments there.